CompTIA Security Plus SY0-701 Practice Exam Questions 51 through 55 This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 51. A software company is preparing to launch a mobile app that collects names, email addresses, and device usage data from users in several different countries. Which of the following is most related to ensuring the app's data collection practices are legally compliant? The answer is A. Local data protection regulations. To collect user data lawfully in multiple countries, a company must follow local data protection regulations. These laws govern how personal information is gathered, stored, and transmitted, and they differ significantly between regions. Addressing these legal requirements is key to avoiding compliance issues and ensuring the app meets international privacy standards. Question 52. A security administrator wants to ensure that only approved software can run on company devices and all unknown or unauthorized programs are automatically blocked. Which of the following would be the best way to achieve this? The answer is B. Application Allow List An application allow list is one of the most effective ways to control which programs can run on a system. It uses a default, deny approach, meaning that only software explicitly approved by the organization is allowed to execute. This prevents unknown, unauthorized, or potentially malicious applications from running, even if a user tries to install them. Question 53. A company has assembled a security team to carry out an offensive assessment that includes both penetration testing and social engineering tactics. What color designation would this team commonly be allocated for performing this type of activity? The answer is D. Red. A red team is responsible for conducting offensive security operations, such as penetration testing and social engineering. Their goal is to simulate real-world attacks to identify weaknesses in an organization's defenses. This helps improve overall security by testing how well systems and people can detect and respond to threats. Question 54. A software development manager wants to ensure that the company's software has not been tampered with and that it came from a trusted source. Which security technique would be most appropriate to use in this situation? The answer is B. Code signing. Code signing is a security technique that confirms the authenticity and integrity of software by attaching a digital signature. It verifies that the code was produced by a trusted source and has not been modified after signing. This is especially important when distributing software as it builds user trust and helps prevent tampering or impersonation. Question 55. An organization wants to detect suspicious behavior on its network without risking its production systems. Which of the following can be used to identify potential attacker activity in this way? The answer is A. Honeypot. A honeypot is a decoy system designed to attract attackers and observe their behavior in a controlled environment. It doesn't affect production servers because it operates separately and is intentionally made to look vulnerable. Honeypots are useful for detecting intrusion attempts, gathering threat intelligence, and studying attack methods. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did. It's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you are always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.